It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Division 2 build video. Now recently I was asked to put together a true Patriot bleed build and I said why not? Sounds like fun. So let's get to it. Oh so we're going to start off with a specialization. Obviously we're using the flamethrower. It's the best specialization in the game for PvP. It's got a really good med kit bonus as well, and let's face it, out of all the specializations, this is the best one to use in combat. For our primary weapon, we are using one of my favorite weapons of all, which is the Vector, primarily for that 1200 RPM. Um, it's not the greatest, but it is what I have. Um, that damage to armor that you see there, ideally you would want damage to targets out of cover. But more importantly, the talent that you want on the weapon is, of course, Sadist. This is a bleed build after all. So deal plus 20% weapon damage to bleeding enemies. As far as how I have it modded, well, this is a crit build. Uh, so you want to reach that 60% crit hit chance cap. And then you want to invest everything else onto crit hit damage. For our secondary, again, I'm using another vector with Sadis as well. Okay, so let's start off. True Patriot. What does it give you? Why is it good? Okay, so two pieces gives us plus 30% ammo capacity. Three pieces gives us plus 30% mag size. And then, of course, you have the four pieces, red, white, and blue. You should all be familiar by now what the red, white, and blue does. But essentially, you're gaining weapon damage. You're actually um, gaining a buff from your enemy as well and you're getting a little bit of um, um, repair uh, armor repair as well so red amplifies the enemy's damage taken by 8% white shooting the enemy repairs the attacking agent's armor by 2% and blue decreases the enemy's damage dealt by 8% so a really really good talent and you've got the bonus there called full flag enemies that die while while under the effect of all three buffs 
create a five meter explosion dealing damage equal to their total health and armor so a really good um really good way to finish off your opponent um i have this build um with uh four blues so i'm at 1.5 million armor um attributes of course you want created damage um or created chance on the miner depending on um you know where you are on that uh, created chance cap our second piece of uh, true pager we are using the uh holster once again we're at 170 on the armor and 12 percent crit hit damage on the attribute our third piece of true patriot we are using the knee pads once again 170 armor and crit hit chance on the attribute and our fourth piece of true patriot we are using the gloves and again 170,000 armor and crit hit damage on the attribute okay so to make this build work you are going to want the ridgeways pride exotic chest piece if you have it um go ahead and mod everything for uh, crit hit chance crit hit damage uh, what makes this chest piece um a must for this bleed build is of course the talent bleeding edge shooting enemies within 15 meters of life bleed to the target you also repair some of your uh, armor depending on um, how many how many enemies uh, or players you have bleeding um, at that particular moment so it says repair three to 48 percent of your armor per second for every enemy that is bleeding within 15 meters and then you can see the parameters at the bottom there so this is a must for this uh, for this build and lastly what uh, brings this whole build together um, is the talent wicked on the backpack so the backpack itself is not that important as far as which one you choose what you want is to use the talent wicked applying a status effect increases total weapon damage by 18 percent for 20 seconds so as you're aware bleed is a status effect so as soon as you bleed the enemy you are proccing wicked gaining that extra 18 percent um, uh, weapon damage for 20 seconds and this is the second piece that i have modded for uh that's a, the red core attribute and that puts together the uh the true patriot bleed build as far as the mods, you're going to want the, the Stinger Hive because, again, the Stinger Hive uh, also applies a status effect, which uh, makes them bleed, which, again, will, um, will proc uh, Wicked. So uh, Stinger Hive um, is what I use, and I would recommend it as well. And lastly, my second, uh, my second skill is the Explosive Seeker Mine because, again, when you... Um, strike the enemy with the mine it also applies the bleed and we know that the bleed again is a status effect so second uh, skill to use uh, the secret mine and if we quickly look at the character sheet uh we can see there we are at uh, 68,000 weapon damage uh 22,000 pvp damage uh, we're just under that 60% crit hit chance cap, and our crit hit damage is just under 160,000. We have a little bit of headshot damage, some armor damage, and that's pretty much the build. Uh, give it a shot, guys. It's a fun one. And um, like always, let me know in the comment section below what you like, what you didn't like about the build, how you think you would make it better. I'd love to hear from you, like always, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace out.